When I say the word baby, what's the first thought that comes up to your mind? Is it something cute? Is it something chubby? Or maybe something absolutely beautiful? But when I say the word politics, what's the first thought that creeps up into your mind? Is it corruption? Or is it disgust? Or maybe the end of of humanity? In today's world, why is it that we see politics so negatively? It was never meant to be this way. In fact, the reason that our ancestors started politics was to make this world a better place for the safety and betterment of the people. But today, the way I see politics is like watching a show of Keeping Up with the Kardashians or an episode of Big Boss where everything is personal and nothing for the people. Wasted interests, unrealistic dreams, false promises, religion, destruction, all in the name of politics. With all this negativity, if politics was actually a person, it would have committed suicide. We cry because there's no good politics out there. Why? Why not cry for those people getting hurt every single day? Cry for those people getting manipulated because they don't have a decent education. Cry for the poor who keep on getting poorer. You know, politics actually did us good. We built structures, we developed, we conquered. We put our differences aside and worked unitedly. It even saved us from a World War III. So, who do we blame for its downfall? Do we blame our leaders? I mean, it seems fair because they are the ones calling the shots. But again, that is just another excuse. So, who do we blame for its downfall? Each one of us has played a crucial role in tearing up and destroying politics. We made it personal. We brought in religion. We elected those leaders. We made the real choices. And now, we suffer the consequences. We as human beings have experimented, modified and built machines that we believe could take over this entire world. Look around you. It's already happened. Because we are no more humans. We our machines. We have reached the future. Congratulations. But at what cost? We have no sense of feeling, no emotion and no fear of death. Right now, this is World War 3. It's not a fight for power or conquering countries. It's a fight for humanity. And it's personal. Because here, you do not have family. You do not have friends or a team standing by your side. This war is about finding who you are. Human or machine. We had something great and we destroyed it. So, let's take this moment of silence. Because this is not a speech. This is my eulogy for politics.